Damn. Neon Truckers BS. Uh oh. Yeah, we was making good time. Can you say fired? Damn. Listen, how, how how does this how does this happen? You're asking. How does this happen? This 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 is not uncommon, right here. And how this happens is is your your number one is usually ha- it's a rookie it is a rookie mistake it's a rookie mistake it's a rookie mistake but it does happen. <coughs> this is you not being able to gauge if you can go down the street. That's how that happens. Usually, you either you're cutting it too close. Let's say you have enough room, you're cutting it too close, and then you know your wheels. You know you're not tr- you're not tracking your your trailer track because your trailer doesn't track exactly with the, with the front of your truck. So if your wheels are here, your trailer's over here. Your trailer's like over here. I'm gonna put it in the camera. Your trailer's like over here. So if you're getting around the curve right here. Your trailer's way back here. It's, it's, it's not it's not going to follow. That's one way. The other way is you don't know what street you can turn down. Or you don't know if you have enough setup space to get down a street that small. So it's either two ways this space is going to come from. It's going to come from the street being big enough for you to turn onto it. Or it's going to come from you having enough space to set up to get onto that street. And if you have to do all of that setup, you probably shouldn't even go down the street, bro. You probably shouldn't, you probably shouldn't even be on that street. Period. That leads back to you having the right GPS. But, you know, some people ain't paying that money for the GPS. And here we are. The the guy who says, I don't have to pay that for a GPS, that's not for freshmen. That's for grown-ups. That's for big boys that can just look at a street and know they can go down there. That comes with, you know, year and a half, two years, maybe even three, depending on the person's, you know, talent level. But, you know, like big dogs, don't, like my father doesn't need a GPS. He don't need nothing. He can drive into New York and drive out of it without a GPS. You don't do that on your first week or your second week or your first month or your first year. You're depending on that GPS a little bit. You got to use it, man. You got to pay them the money. They got you by the balls. You got to pay it, bro. It is what it is. Forget about it. It is what it is. Don't be bad. Hold the phone. See this right here? <sighs> Honestly. Honestly. It's rough, man. It's rough. Now, I can say he, he likes his job. You know. It, it's two ways to look at this. It's sad that he had to keep going. Or he was bored at home and he just keeps going. And that could be sad, but... I'm not interested in doing this. You know, I'm interested in just dying at home in the bed. This is, uh, it's, 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 it's rough, man. Yeah, that's, but I've told y'all before, you know, There isn't a bunch of rainbows at the end of a trucking career, you know, and that, and and it depends on who you are, how you handle your money and all this other stuff. Y'all going to come back and say, but you know, this dude, he wasn't buying Lamborghinis and ghost riding dude. And he's in one of the most lucrative divisions in trucking, which is oversized. And that's probably a removable gooseneck. So, I mean, uh, one could say, I'm not saying me, one could say he's in that lucrative of a business. What happened? And what help do you have being a drive van reefer guy? If that dude in that division ended up there at 70 years old, I'm going to leave it to the comments below. I digress. I don't know. I have, I have no judgment on this vi- video. I have no judgment on it. None. Y'all ever been to a ship or whatever? So ain't no about like, uh, how clean your trailer is. <clears throat> so look, check this shit out right here. Look at how many wood pieces I had on the floor. He called me while I'm back into the dock and said, "Hey man, uh, you got a little too, uh, you got too many uh, wood chips on your floor." Uh, listen, man. Listen, man. It depends on the shipper, bro. You gotta do what you gotta do. Forget about it. 
It is what it is. Some people are just like that. And I don't even, I don't want to say it's the company. I'm not going to say it's the company all the time. The company may have a loose policy, but you may run into that guy who has a thing about that. He may feel like, you know, he wants it spotless. It's just something you got to deal with, man. It's just something you got to deal with. Some dudes are like that. Some dudes are not. Some dudes let you just push it over to the corner and he won't say anything. But some guys, they're going to want it clean. From, and he's going to get it in the trailer and make sure it is. You have that guy. Usually it's a rookie that just got the job. But, you know, that'll wear off in time. That'll wear off so in time. So a company based in California committed to delivering exceptional service to our clients. We are currently seeking goal-oriented and reliable flatbed drivers to join our team. Okay, so flatbed, the national average for flatbeds, I believe right now is about $2.50 per mile. Okay, let's continue on responsibilities, qualifications, and 28% of gross revenue W-2. So you're going to be on payroll. So there's going to be at least 35%. This is where the bullshit is going to start. It says, look under requirements. That's usually where the bullshit is. I'm just saying. Send deducted from you. Now, if the national average is 2.5 and somebody getting 0.28 is 70 cents per mile. Is this in line with mm. what flatbed drivers make? Yes, flatbed drivers would make about 75 cents per mile today in the U.S. But what I don't like about this is not every single load is going to pay you $2.50 per mile. There are going to be loads that are paying you 2.5 and 2.4 and 2.3. And a driver should not be working under gross revenues. A driver should not be working under gross revenues. Listen, man, this is so much. You know, I've I've spoke on things like this before. You know, it's, it depends on you. To be honest, it depends on you. You may make that work. They may get you home the way you need and you may like the job. And then I come on here and say, you shouldn't be doing this. And then you take offense and you hate me for the next five years. So honestly, like, especially not today. So a company based, you know, so listen, man, if your pay scale works for you, which your home time works for you, you do it, man. You do it. Uh oh, we, we know what's going. We know something crazy is about to happen. We know something's crazy about to happen. It better not be swift. Yes. No. Oh, no. oh jingling. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I told you. I, I told you something crazy was about to happen. Didn't I say that? I said something crazy is about to happen. <laughs> you know, where does this come from? Let's watch it a few times. He's making a wide right turn. He's making a wide right turn. Remember I told you you got to set up to get into somewhere small. Now, I don't know if he's supposed to be turning into this thing or not. You know, I don't, I can't, we can't, uh, from this angle, you can't really tell if he's supposed to be going in there or not. But let's say he is. And you have to do this. And sometimes you have to scoot over this far to get it done, depending on what city you're in, you know. Depending on what city you're in, it looks like he has a, a, a some sort of step deck trailer. He's a long nose, like a seventy nine, or not a W nine hundred ish, somewhere around that model. So you you can't stop him. He's Super Trucker three thousand seventy three. <laughs> That's a fact. I don't see nothing wrong with the setup personally, because basically what he's doing right here, he's making a U turn. Cause, cause, cause this, if you look where about by that, well, you can't see it. Can you, let me slide it over for you. I mean, let me slide this over. See that he has to turn into here, keep his tandems from hitting the grass and pull into that, in, in, into that situation over there. He has to keep his tandems from hitting the grass and pull into that situation over there. Hey man, how could he stop this from happening? How could he have prevented? I'm sorry, y'all. How could he have prevented this from happening? And it's simple. You have to be a, 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 
a super safety guy would tell you don't do it, but that's not always going to, that the absolutes don't exist in trucking. That's, that's just not going to work. Sometimes you got to do it, man. Sometimes it just is what it is, but the best way is to look at that mirror heavy. That's it. When you got to do it, sometimes you just got to look at that mirror. You got to turn. And when the last time you seen it, you got to know the timing it takes for you to make that maneuver. And you get, you gotta, you gotta look at that mirror up. Oh, nobody's there. Someone may pass by and then you, you take it. Also this driver, this driver just tried to get past him. Oh my God. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting triggered. They're gaslighting me. The driver knew what was going on. It's two things. Either he didn't know what was going on and he's just a dumb driver that ain't paying attention. He's on his phone or he was trying to get around him so he didn't have to wait. And, uh, you know, stupid games, you get stupid prizes, as LaShawn says. Booze. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop. Did y'all not see that other dude who went past, too? There's another one. One. Two. Comment at the bottom if you think this is the driver's fault. Comment at the bottom if you think this is the driver's fault. Let me know. Let me know if you think this is the driver's fault. Because, geez, Louise, man, honestly. Listen, I just want to be real with you guys for a second. Did you know truck drivers go to work with the realization that it might be his last? He might never see his family again. Not for incompetence or poor judgment or poor equipment but because they work for an industry and a population that does not care anything about them whatsoever you guys pretend like you don't see the blinker light on for two miles mm. to let us merge our 80,000 pound vehicles oh my god this dude is speaking the gospel he's speaking the concord truth this guy here yeah, like he he he's he's speaking the Concord truth. I showed this man Trucker BS. I just followed these. I hope y'all follow him. He got some good content on here. Um, yeah. Look, I'm just I'm just I'm just getting off. I got maybe, you know, uh, twenty hours at the house before I got to go back out. Um, yeah, I see it every day. They don't care. They don't care about us. That's why we can't park nowhere. You know, they disrespect. This is always disrespect all the time. They don't respect the size of the truck. They don't respect the the, 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 the massive violent death that comes from playing with one of us. They don't respect it, dude. And, 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 and the key point is they're not paying attention. I can I completely agree with that. What he said so far onto the interstate. You don't give us any type of courtesy whatsoever. We are driven by the minute, we are planned by the seconds. You guys care more about an animal in a hot vehicle rather than the truck driver that just had a heart attack. Hallelujah. The truth. The truth. Only on Truckers BS. The truth. Listen, I just want to be real. The Concord truth. That's the truth, bro. So, bro, just bag me up, bro. Just let me make the turn. If you see my signal light, come on. Don't seven people try to rush beside me when I need to make this term. I'm timing it, bro. I'm I'm set up a little bit to the to the to the left because I'm trying to make a tight right turn, and you just sucker in right before me, then stop and go. Oh my god, honestly, what are you doing? I I, I just that dude's getting me going, man. You getting me going, trucker BS on TikTok underscore. Y'all know what it is. Let me get into detail. Let me show y'all this bullshit I just had to go through. Uh -oh. Everybody be like, oh, y'all make good money trucking. Y'all do that. Yeah, we do, because we got to go through bullshit like this. Look, this is my truck. I ain't trying my shit up. Look, I had to barely stop. I almost scratched my shit. No. And then look how I had to bark this bitch. Look, let me show y'all. This shit ain't for the week, hoss. This shit ain't for the week. My truck ain't even straight. That's what I'm telling you, my truck ain't straight. It's not. It's bullshit. This is shit we got to go through. They don't want to move none of this shit, but I got to back in this. Come on, huh? Oh, my God. I feel his pain. You know, I feel his pain, man. Because there's nothing worse 
than a, to me, I look at it, there's nothing worse than a low budget shipper, bro. There's nothing worse than a low budget shipper. Nothing. There's nothing worse than a low budget shipper that just doesn't care, bro. They just don't, they just don't care. Figure it out. I can't get my truck in there. The last guy got his truck in there. Oh my God. I'm about to, I'm about to go off doggy. Like, well, I don't care what the last driver did. I don't care. I can't get in there. And if I did, I got, and you, I could get in there, but I may be bumping something. I may be scratching. They don't care. Screw you. Nah, player. And if you somebody who take pride in your ride, nah, I'm not scratching my truck to get in there. This low will be dropped. So figure out the doors. And they will figure out the doors. They will figure out the doors. Well, then you can't drop. I'm going to the truck stop. Y'all need to figure this out. Because if I do hit something, then they got you. <sighs> TB reacts. It's just been a I just been looking at this stuff, man. That's it. I appreciate you for coming here. Sub to the channel. Shout out to all the people on the Patreon that asked for this. Go to the Patreon, sign up immediately. Don't do drugs. And we out.